All right, today we're going to go over the key features of polar graph, so the properties of the graph. The first one is a circle, r equals to 4. It has a radius of 4, so it looks like this. So domain, when we talk about domain in polar graph, it's about thetas, and range is the radius, right? Because we usually write an equation r in terms of theta. So domain for the circle will be negative infinity, all of your numbers to positive infinity. Range will be just r equals to 4. It will always have a radius of 4. That's what the equation is. And symmetry. So the symmetry, it will be symmetrical across the y-axis, x-axis, and the pole, so, or the origin. So we can write x-axis, y-axis, and the origin. We sometimes say x-axis is a polar axis on the polar graph, which is the positive x-axis. And y-axis will be theta equals to pi over 2. This is pi, theta equals pi over 2, and this is called the pole. What about continuity? Yes, there's no discontinuity, so it is yes. And boundedness, it doesn't go to positive infinity, neither negative infinity for R, so it is bounded both below and above. So if you say bounded, it means it's both bounded above and below. And the maximum R value will be 4. Second, theta equals to pi over 3 is this line right here, and it can also go to the other side of the graph. So the domain will be all actually theta equals to pi over 3, but it can be pi added to it, another pi, or pi subtracted, right? It's still this line. So you can rewrite it as n pi, where n is a set of integers. Z means it's an integer. Can you see? Yeah. Integers. The range will be all of your numbers. Negative infinity to positive infinity and symmetry. Not on the y-axis, neither x-axis, but it's on the pole. It goes to the other side of the pole. So you can say origin. And continuity will be, it is continuous, there's no discontinuity, so yes. And it is not bounded because it goes to positive and negative infinity. Maximum R value, it goes to infinity, therefore there's none. Three, R equals to two sine, three theta, it's a rose with three paddles, right? If it's odd, it's just that number, and two is the length of the paddle. So it will look like this, one, two, three. This, this is three, it will look like this, why? Because it's sine, that means it will be symmetric on the y-axis. So symmetric will be on the y-axis, not on the pole, neither x-axis. Domain will be all of your numbers. And range, for this one, will be from, for any type of rows, it will be always from negative A to positive A. Can be both negative or positive. So A is this number right here, which is the length of the paddle. I'm sorry, so this should be actually two, right? This is the length of the paddle. This is the number of the paddle. So it will be from negative two to positive two. So yeah, this is length two. Symmetry on the y-axis. This continuity, yes. Bounded, yes. So bounded. And maximum all value equals to the length, which is 2. 4. R equals to 4 plus 4 cosine theta. If you have A and B the same, then it's cardioid among, from the Limassons family. And it's cosine positive, so it will be on the positive x-axis, and the total length will be 4 plus 4, which is 8. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it will look roughly something like this. So what's its domain? Domain is all of your numbers. And range will be what? For the Lima songs, we always do 
a minus b to a plus b. So what is a minus b? The, the smallest radius is 4 because when you add it, it will never be negative. So it is 4, 0, 2, 4 plus 4 is 8. This is your a and b. Symmetry, it's symmetric on the x-axis. And yes, it is continuous. And yes, it is bounded. And the maximum number value of r will be 8. r equals to 2 theta will be a spiral going faster than 2 theta. So something like this. So domain will be all of your numbers. Range is also all of your numbers. And symmetry, none. Continuous, yes, is it bounded? No, it goes to negative to positive infinity. So not bounded. And the maximum value of R equals infinity, so there is none. It's not applicable. So when you look at the Leibniz gate, when you plug into the calculator, you have to put it in, in terms of R. So when R equals 2, let me move the graph. When we write it, we have to take the square root on both sides. So R becomes either positive sine of 2 theta and R becomes negative square root of sine of 2 theta. And remember, if you have a square root, under the square root, you cannot have a negative, meaning 2 theta now. When we talk about 2 theta, which will be from 0 to 4 pi, you have to also double the domain, have a restriction. Right? So we have to see when it has the positive sign value. So when does pos 2 theta become positive? When we look at the unit circle, so from here, 0 to pi, it is positive, right? Square root of a number cannot be negative. So we are not including this region right here. And then it's up to 4 theta. So, I mean, 4 pi, so now this is 0 to pi, 2 pi, so now 2 pi inclusive, 2, 2 theta, right, must be less than 3 pi. What about 3 pi to 4 pi? It's negative, so it's, we are not including that. But we are solving for a theta, so now you divide by 2, 2, 2, so you get first domain from 0 to pi over 2. And here you divide by 2 to 2 get the theta, which is pi 2, 3 pi over 2. What about its range? Range will be, when you look at the graph, how does the graph look like? The lemon skate sign, and it's 2. So there are two paddles. It's not like rows where you double it. And the length is, here's a square, which is 1. So if this is 1, it will look like this. So what is its range? The range will be from 0 to, it will be always from 0 to a. So 0 to 1 is the range. Symmetry, it will be symmetrical across the pole which is the same as the origin. And continuity, yes, bounded. Yes, it is bounded. And maximum R value will be 1.